They set up the cell for Sokolov in the old kennel. Shackles and everything. It'll be a shock, him waking up in the straw and old dog poop. But from what I hear, he's woken up worse places. Guess we all have at that. I doubt a dozen soldiers could have done it better. Sokolov's knowledge will enable us to strike at the Lord Regent directly, and ultimately help you get your life back. Soon, we won't have to hide in the shadows. The Royal Physician is brilliant, but he was a fool to protect the Lord Regent. Sokolov gave us the elixir, the war machine. He could have made us a great nation. Now he pays the price for siding with a tyrant. You have my thanks, sir. If you wish to get some sleep, now is a good time. You were making funny faces while you were sleeping. I decided to nap here in your room while Callista was taking her bath. She told me if there's ever trouble, I should always run here. Callista will come get me when she's done with her bath. Thanks, Gorbo. It makes me feel better. Chosen T. Mark behind. Position. I believe this is your part of this rabble, but I know you have your reasons. Yes, it does. All we need is the name of the Lord Regent's mistress. It's very simple. I elect not to tell you. You will have to force the words from me, and I warn you, my willpower is quite legendary. Sorry, sir. 
not rats. Stop! Stop! I will tell you what you need to know. I'm obliged to safeguard Dunwall's greatest intellectual asset. I can only tell you so much. I was not permitted to see her face or hear her full name. She called herself Lady Boyle. You see, I painted her from behind. I assure you, she still makes a striking portrait. But I do not know which Boyle she is. I was to be introduced to her at a masked ball in her honor this very night. But I will miss that party, it seems. A masked ball at the Boyle estate. Tonight, the timing is perfect, Corvo. But the Boyles are wealthy and ruthless, so security will be very tight. Of course, you already have a mask, don't you, Corvo? Yes, you will be able to mingle with them once you're on the grounds. You'll have to find out which of the Boyle women is connected to the Lord Regent, and take her out whatever way you can devise. We're very close now. Corvo, if you do this tonight, we'll be able to strike at the Lord Regent himself and put Emily on the throne. May the wind favor you. I hear you're off to the Boyle's little bash tonight. I have just a tiny favor I'd like to ask you. Could you give this note to Lord Shaw? You'll know him. A rather brusque man wearing a wolf's mask. In fact, he may be looking for me. Costume ball, huh? Well, that'll be fun, but not for everybody. You ready? stops for the Boyle family. I didn't think there'd be tall boys patrolling here tonight. Watch yourself, Corvo. They don't fool around. The good news is, once you get to the party, that mask of yours lets you blend right in. Enjoy your evening out with the folk of quality. Better you than me.
the river rushed in when the barrier broke. A whole district went dark. Is that what you dreamed of? All those months in Cold Ridge Prison while waiting for the executioner? Wealth, beautiful women in the latest fashions, laughing and drinking Tibian wine. And what of the host, Lady Boyle? I can see all her tomorrows, and I know that either she dies tonight at your hand, or she'll live out her days, month after month, year after year, far away, even as her fine clothes wear into tatters and her silken hair gets dull and gray. Half the city can see the lights from the party and they dream of the delights inside. Will you tear it all to pieces? Either way, it's Lady Boyle's last party.